kettle. The kettle has the halacha status of klirishon. When he pours it inside a different cup, this cup is kelisheni. Question, halacha asks, what about if a person puts a ladle, kafgir, or palovnik, whatever you call it, he puts it inside the hot water and takes water from there. The metal became very hot because it was inside the, uh, the, uh, the samavar. The fact that it was inside the samavar and it became very hot. Samavar is clearly shown. It's the first one. It was the one that had the fire. He had the element of the fire. The cup is klisheni. What's the status of this? Of that kafgir palovnik. What's the status of that ladle, the matzeket, by halacha? Is it clearly shown? Is it klisheni? Or is it klisheni? Well, what's, what's the status of that? So the Taz, the Taz, Rabbi Tureza Zahav, says an interesting proof. If you remember, yesterday we learned the Gemara in Masechet, Shabbat in Dafmim. Gemara said that Rabbi, Rabbi Uda Anasi, went together with Rabbi Itzhak to the Hamam. Back in the day, it was allowed to go to Hamam on Shabbat. The, the, the bathhouse, it was allowed to go. He goes, Rabbi Rabbi, and he goes inside the tub. The tub used to be clearly shown. He used to have hot coals on the bottom. So the tub is clearly shown. Rabbi wanted to smear his body with oil after. His student, Rabbi Yitzhak, takes the bottle of water and wants to put it inside the hot tub in order to warm it up. Rabbi told to Rabbi Yitzhak, his student, don't do that. Don't put it inside Kli Rishon. Tol Bekli Sheni Veten. Put it in Kli Sheni and then you'll take water from Kli Sheni and, and put the bottle of oil inside there. Says the Taz, that water that he took out of the, out of the tub, but at the Bani Katorin Bula. He took water out of there. What's the status of this water? Of this Kli? Is it Kli Rishon or Kli Sheni? Huh? Sounds like Kli Sheni, Nachon? Yeah. Says the Taz, why the Gemara said, Rabbi told to Rabbi Yitzhak, Tol be Kli Sheni veten. What's that extra word Sheni for? The Gemara could have said, Tol be Kli veten. Take in a Kli and ten and put it inside that Kli. Why that extra word, tol bekli sheni veten? Says the Taz, from here we learn that when you take water out of samavar, out of a kettle, out of a tub, this water, it's klirishon as the tub is klirishon. So if you right now took matzeket and you poured inside kosa, you took water from the, from the samavar, you put it inside a bowl of, what, empty bowl, what is the status of the kosa? Klisheni, because the matzeket is klirishon, like the samavar is klirishon. Comes Avadia Yosef and brings many commentaries against the Taz, including the Yerushalmi against the Taz. And he says, the fact that the Gemara said the word tol be klisheni, the Gemara is teaching you that this kli that you're taking is klisheni. Now that you're supposed to say, call it, that's what Rebbe wanted to teach Rabbi Itzhak, that whenever you take water out of another source of fire, even though you put that, care, that cup inside the source of the fire, the status of this cup is klisheni. That's the reason the Gemara said the word tol be klisheni, that extra word sheni. It's not extra word. This is the teaching that Rabbi wanted to give to Rabbi Yitzchak, that when you take water out of the tub, even though the tub is clearly shown, the cup that you took out of there is klisheni. So with this being said, and that's the conclusion, does any time a person takes water out of the samavar, even though he didn't take the water in a way that he poured the water, he put the vessel, the kafgir, kavles, whatever you call it, inside the palovnik, he put inside... The samavar, that ladle, he put inside the samavar, the status of the ladle is klisheni. So when you're going to pour it inside the bowl, inside the kosa, the status of the kosa is kli, shlishi. So if a person wants to put right now paprika, he wants to add the garlic, he wants to add egg, he wants to do anything he wants inside that bowl, it's kli shlishi. Kli shlishi, even according to the strict opinions, does not mevashel, is not mevashel. Therefore, when the status of the matzeket, halacha says, it's kli sheni. You want to be mahmir like the Taz, mahmir tava ala beracha. But mikar adin, the matzeket has the status of klisheni. Pouring it inside the bowl, it's already kelish lishi.